Hi. Any metal detectors is going to be able, or is going to be finding jewelry that will not have hallmarks on it. And uh, the question then is how to test these things so that you kind of know what the metal is. Uh, two good examples I have here is the very first ring I found. It's a black men's ring. It was unmarked. And then I also had a woman's ring, a little band, and it was testing on the scratch pad with 18 karat acid as 18 karat gold. So for a while there I thought I had an a 18 karat gold ring, uh, but it just bugged me because it just seemed too light uh, to be gold at this point. So I was looking for a way to figure out uh, what these rings are made of. And um, it turns out that there's a really easy way to do this. So I'm going to show you in this video how for small pieces of jewelry you might be able to find out what they're made of. You're really going to need just three things. You're going to need a jeweler's scale and it should be accurate down, I would recommend accurate down to a hundredth of a gram. You're going to need a, a small container. In my case, I used a, a little uh, $1 coin jar uh, that you can fill with water. And you're going to need a way of hanging the jewelry in the, into the cylinder of water without touching the cylinder or without letting it rest on the bottom. And I have used little bread ties, uh, the little ties on loaves of bread. Uh, but I think what works really, really good is some uh, monofilament fishing line. And I just cut a length of this off a fishing reel, and it works really, really well. So uh, those are the things you're going to need. This is a black, unmarked ring. So the first step is to measure its weight. In our next step, we will weigh the cylinder of water. Next, suspend the object in the water, being careful not to let it rest on the bottom or to um, touch the sides. Try and keep it suspended in the column of water without touching any other part of the cylinder. With the ring suspended in the water, it has increased the weight by 0.66 grams. Since one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter, that 0 0.66 gram weight increase means that the volume of the ring is 0.66 milliliters or 0.66 cubic centimeters. Now that we've calculated the density of the ring at about 7.41 grams per milliliter or per cubic centimeter, we now need to compare that calculated density with some common metals used in jewelry to see which one is the closest match. You can see that the calculated density of 7.41 grams per cubic centimeter is fairly close. Of all the metals, it's closest to stainless steel, which ranges usually from about 7.48 to 7.95 grams per cubic centimeter. What would throw this off a little bit is if my volume measured is larger than it actually is, that will decrease the density. And you'll notice that this time I used a little twist off a bread, uh, uh, loaf of bread, and that may have added a little volume to it. But you can see that 7.41 is clearly very close to stainless steel. So it's very likely that the ring is, in fact, stainless steel. Now that you've seen how we can use this to calculate the density of a, uh, a ring, uh, it can also be used for any small jewelry object. A good example is I found a piece of chain that looked like gold, and it actually passed the scratch test on the pad with the acid as 10K gold, but it was way too light. So I conducted the same test on a piece of uh, bracelet and uh, discovered that the bracelet was uh, gold-plated aluminum. So uh, here's the results of that experiment. And uh, again, be creative. 
Bear in mind that this will work on a jewelry that is pretty uniform in composition. If you have a ring that has a large stone on it, that stone is going to increase the volume, which is going to drive down the density reading. So it will work really well on um, bands, uh, small pieces of jewelry. But if you have any jewelry that has large stones or uh, looks like it's made of composite materials, uh, like uh, tungsten carbide and wood or something like that, this method is not going to be that reliable. So here's the results of the test on the uh, gold uh, bracelet or the little links of gold bracelet.